In this video we're going to give you an introduction to the new Timer Pro version 11. You can see when you bring it up, the Timer Pro version 11 will be mentioned at the top here. And you'll also see if you want to click on the menu key and you go to the info selection here. It will tell you that you're dealing with Timer Pro version 11. The main features have been added to the product will be covered here. Uh, the first thing you'll see is a new option on the main menu called Selection Formats down here. If you tap on that, and the idea here, if I remove the pop-up uh, menu here, that you can define predefined formats that can be called uh, from your study. You can have some prompts that are non-value added. They can be colored red with white writing. Walking can be, in this case, blue with yellow writing. You can underline, you can do bold, different size of fonts and so forth. And you can define all of these here. And there's also a default format that you can have and that you can pass it on between devices to allow you to share the formats among many users here. Uh, the other thing that's new here is if I open say the last year's study here we're now letting you define how many rows and columns of uh, data you can see here and whether you want to see the uh, pop-up rating and quantity fields here and these are all controlled by a new screen here and you can see that if I go down again to the menu option here and I'm going to select the info option and I'm going to select the screen configuration now there used to be a lot more options in this pop-up we've consolidated them all into the screen configuration selection here so you can see here you can define the number of columns you want to have uh, the number of rows the font size and the buttons the font size and the data you can also have display the rating and quantity keyboard, just a checkbox here. Show reference numbers, yes or no, just for having it checked or unchecked. And the type of uh, timing you want to do. Let's say you wanted to work with auto stop on click, you could select that there. And that would be stored with the study, so you don't have to change it every time you open the study up. I'll put it back to the auto none here for our demo purposes here. So if I wanted to change the number of columns, let's say I wanted to see uh, three columns. And I wanted to see it by seven and I wanted to, I'll leave the font size the same, but I don't want to see the display rating and quantity. I can take that off, I can take off the show reference numbers. I can save it to template. Notice I can also save it as a default. So you can save that as well as being a default format they could use in every study that you develop. And then I'm going to go back. And now you'll see, I've got three columns of seven here. So I wanted to change that again, I can come in here, hit the menu, select the info and let's say I want to do the screen configuration and I wanted to make it five columns by three so I'm just selecting it here and then I just say save for this template and then I click on the back and now you get five columns by three so this will let you define how you want to see the data being presented to you as well as being able as you can see here color code the uh, the prompts that you're seeing on the screen to match anything you'd like to uh, to set up here. We have also made it a little bit easier to edit the elements. So we come in here and you can see it predefines the colors. You can see the actual colors. This is being picked up automatically from the definition. We've made these larger so it's easy for you to edit the different elements in your studies. So a number of new features are going to be covered in detail in the upcoming uh, videos here.